He has the, uh, the main role of the press in the upcoming election and what's the, what, what are the challenges that the press has to face in, in 2011? I think the main problem um, I see um, as already here is the fact that a lot of um, papers are not financially sound. So a lot of them tend to compromise themselves in terms of taking money for stories being published. So I think um, um, we have a big challenge here in terms of training uh, journalists um, <coughs> and organizations to be more professional in, their, in how they go about doing stuff. Um, in terms of um, logistics, a lot of them don't have the tools to work with. Um, cameras, uh, recorders, you know, those kind of things are handicap reporters work on the, on the field. And a lot of them are not equipped to do this kind of work, so it's really a setback for I think in terms of transportation also is a problem. Um, getting reporters to different counties to cover election, that would be a problem. That's kind of a lot of um, things that have to work out, you know, different institutions. I know some uh, agencies in be we we'll have uh, our election commission is trying to organize the transportation for reporters to go to different counties. I don't know how much, how far that's going, but that, that could be a way of doing, you know, helping that uh, to make sure that every county is covered in elections. Um, in terms of um, um, ethics, the problems, uh, a lot of reporters and news and managing editors of papers are not really, they don't, the reporters go on the field to do a story and they come back and they require them to pay money before the story is published. Those kind of things have to be worked out, or have to be imparted in knowledge into different institutions, not to do those kind of things, but it hurts the institution as a, as a whole, and the media as a whole might be. And that's the main one of the things we're having problems with. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Why, uh, I got another one. Why, why do you do what you do? Why are you a journalist, and what do you hope to achieve in Liberia? Oh, uh, for me, I want to change the landscape of a media in Liberia because uh, historically we've been, people don't take media seriously in Liberia. Um, it's taking, you have to make yourself prominence, you know, for people to take you seriously. And we try to make sure that we, we walk a fine line in terms of ethics, in terms of um, giving our reporters the tools to work with so they don't have to go out and take money. Um, and we want to make our paper, um, something of quality and not just quantity that people can look up to and they want to be a voice for Liberia and a voice that people can look up to to speak on the issues like corruption, um, human rights abuses and stuff. Um, those kind of things that people don't really cover, that's what we try to go after. And that, that sets you apart from everybody else. That's What's in it for you? Uh, fulfillment that I'm bringing something back to Liberia, something that people can um, look up to and say, this guy went away for years and came back and brought something quality to Liberia in terms of media development. Um, I think it shows that um, a lot of media houses in the States are you know, folding and newspapers are folding, but newspapers are still alive in Liberia and Africa is still a hot commodity. That's why I came back home, that's why I came back to start this and to give Liberia something that's, that other countries have that we've been lacking for a long time. And that's a critical newspaper, a very critical, objective newspaper that people can be proud of. Okay.